The EF 40mm f2.8 STM is the smallest and shortest tender prime made for Canon's full frame cameras. The first compact pancake lens made possible by the new STM stepping motor. It got on the lineup back in 2012 as a novelty product for the street photographer, showcasing new ideas for design, ergonomics and usability, quickly becoming one of my favorite Canon lens. At just 68 by 22 mm of 130 grams of mostly plastics, the first thing we notice on the EF40 f2.8 STM is its length, short as a pancake makeup kit. Despite having the same all-electronic focus and aperture settings made popular by Canon's EF mount since the 80s, even compatible with those cameras with over four decades of age, this is portable and very light option for the everyday photography. On the outside, it sports a new textured plastic finishing, made to withstand everyday usage, that was later used on all EF lenses, a new paradigm in design Canon introduced to make the mid-level photographer's life easier. Also be the first STM lens, it introduced a new way of adjusting focus, be it automatically or manually. The autofocus is just great, a new stepping motor moves the whole optical barrel in and out of the case all in silence and reasonable speed, actually made for video shooters. While it's not completely silent, it can render a slightly robotic noise, is much better than previous micro motors and much cheaper than USM. But now the manual focusing ring is all electronic as well, making for some incompatibility depending on the camera. The manual ring simply needs the camera to be awake and sending energy to the lens, something that happens only when the metering is active after the half press on the shutter button, so you always must press that button to engage the MF ring that can be somewhat cumbersome to use, it is standard behavior to the newer STM lens and something to get used to while in hands. Finally at the front the EF40 f2.8 accepts 52mm filters that fix on a plastic thread over the tiny optical elements. At the back the metal mount feels smooth for years of operation and no weather resistant skin is advertised by Canon. It also doesn't include any accessories in the box, just mount it on your camera and you're good to go. With a 6 elements in 4 groups optical formula, sporting one aspherical piece to handle spheric aberration, and chemical coatings to deal with flaring and enhanced contrast, what the EF40 f2.8 STM delivers optically is excellent. A true prime performance from the standard focal length, no matter the smaller pancake design. It is difficult to find anything wrong with these images. The resolution is great across the frame, good for large format printing from high resolution full frame cameras. The contrast is excellent even wide open, given the smaller f2.8 maximum aperture. And the colors and even the bokeh are great, for a true full frame experience. Here Tesla mostly on the film EOS Elan 7E SLR camera with Fuji Superior 200 film. I got great results from the EF40 STM, from landscape to street photography and even some portraits. The optics easily delivers details from edge to edge that can be appreciated pixel by pixel, retaining the fidelity we expect from low ASA film, with organic gradients for shadows to highlights, all delivered optically. Stepping down doesn't truly enhance sharpness as both the depth of fear are longer and the perceived details are on the higher end, making for a mere exposure control. Chromatic aberrations are also difficult to see, given the near-perfect double gauss formula, making for great straight out of the camera files, and the best part of the six elements pairing. But it's the colors and even some bokeh that delivers that great full frame look we expect from prime lenses on the EF lineup, that are amazingly to be seen here on such a portable optic. Compared to the EOS 6D camera or even older film era cameras, it's the best street photography kit for discrete exposures, all made possible by the STMAF. So overall it's a very interesting to see Canon trying something new on its established camera system and a great new alternative as a first prime lens, now taking the place of the 50mm f1.8. This is certainly a great addition to most kids and should be considered as that lens you use when you really don't want to think about the camera. Just add it to your kit and have fun with it. And nice shooting!